In this video, we'll continue our prior discussions of string formatting, which we've seen in many different videos previously. And here we're going to focus on a concept called presentation types. So we've seen many F strings throughout these videos. And in each F string, we've typically had curly braced placeholders where we would insert a value and potentially format that value as well. Now, by default, those placeholders assume that you simply want to take an object and get its string representation and insert it into the formatted string. We have seen a couple of uh, so-called presentation types previously. Here is an F string that's using the F presen presentation type, which works for both floating point numbers and decimal values as well. And in fact, I'll look at decimal values with you towards the end of this video. Uh, but if I go ahead and evaluate this formatted string, it comes out as 17.49 because we specified that we wanted two digits to the right of the decimal point. Now there are some uh, common presentation types that you will encounter. So for example, if you want to do an integer, you use the letter D for that. So this is simply saying format the number 10 as a decimal integer. And by the way, these are type safe. So if, for example, you tried to format the string hello as a floating point number, that's going to result in a value error. And you can try that on your own uh, to see the error appear in IPython. Uh, so we have the F for floating point numbers, D for integers. Let's say you wanted to display the numeric value of a character as its character value. So here's a sample format string in which we're going to format the character uh, with the value 65 as a character and the character with the value 97 as a character and you can see those are the numeric codes for capital and lowercase a respectively and then uh, separately there is even a string presentation type but because that's the default you don't typically see it used in most format strings so here we're simply formatting the string hello as a string and just to show you that uh, everything is treated as a string if you don't provide a presentation type. We also are evaluating a placeholder with the number 7 being dis uh, turned into a string representation. So if I execute that, you can see we get a string containing the word hello, a space, because we had a space between the placeholders and the number 7. Now, as I mentioned, this will also work with decimal values. So let me go ahead and bring in the decimal type. And here is a very large decimal value, um, lots, uh, one and lots of zeros, point zero, and we would like to format it as a floating point representation with three digits to the right of the decimal point. So here are those three digits that are added into the formatted string. And sometimes you may find that it's helpful to represent such a large value more compactly as an exponential notation. So for that purpose, there's actually two presentation types. There's the lowercase e, which gives you exponential notation. Uh, e plus 25 represents 10 to the 25th power. So we're basically saying take 1 and multiply it by 10 to the 25th power to recreate that value. And if you prefer a capital E here rather than a lowercase e, in that case you can use the capital E presentation type and you get the same result but with a capital letter in place of the lowercase letter from the prior snippet. Now these are just some of the common presentation types available to you. Let me switch over to a browser window for a moment here. If you go to this URL in the online Python documentation, you'll find the section called Format Specification Mini Language, and they list all the details of format specifiers here in the online docs.